In the 1820s, families in northern New Mexico grew most of their own food. While the men and boys worked in the fields and tended to the animals, women and girls tended to gardens, cooked, and preserved food for the winter. Like the Pueblo Indians who had lived there for many hundreds of years, the Spanish and Mexican settlers who arrived in the 1600s and 1700s grew corn, beans, and squash. These foods, along with many varieties of chilies, were the staples or basic foods of New Mexican cooking. Today I'm going to be making tamales. It's a holiday favorite in New Mexico. Okay, to start we're going to make the meat. We have a pork roast. We're going to add red chili and garlic. You actually can make your own red chili sauce. It's just easier for us to get it pre-made. So my mom used her pressure cooker and we cooked it all day. Um, it should be to where you can tear it apart in two strips. Now you need to take the corn husks and soak them in water. Now you need to take lard, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. These are all going to be ingredients for the masa mixture that we need for the tamale. Okay, so you're going to take the lard and heat it up for a little bit, and while that's heating, we're going to mix the baking soda, baking powder, and water together. Now we are going to add some salt to the dry masa. We didn't um, use any exact measurement, we just kind of estimated. And when the lard is done heating, you're going to take it out and pour it in the masa. You're gonna take the baking soda, baking powder, and water and pour it in with the masa and the lard. Now you're gonna want some broth. This is turkey broth. You can use chicken broth, beef, bro beef broth, it doesn't really matter. And you stir that until you get a really um, smooth texture to where you can spread it onto the corn husks. Now when you're spreading it onto the corn husks, you don't want it to be too thick. Um, you want it to be fairly thin and evenly spread out. Now we're gonna put the meat in the middle and you don't want too much, but you don't want too little and it needs to go in the middle of the tamale and when you roll it up, you don't want it to be in a spiral because then it will all fall apart. So there's the first tamale. Now you want to repeat this process until you have as many as you were planning on making and you need to steam them for about an hour. And this is my lovely sister trying the tamale for me. I think she really liked it. 